Ya Chichi, Bando Kenda. Bob Elvis is used to his songs being banned. Government censors here in the Democratic Republic of Congo have outlawed his songs from radio and TV stations and stopped him playing concerts. His latest recording was one of seven songs the censors banned last week. It's about perceived failures of the government of President Felix Tshisekedi sung in the form of a letter to Chisikedi's father, Etienne. He was a popular opposition politician for decades who died before his son came to power. I think we as youth sent away former President Joseph Kabila, accompanied by songs and protests. Why can't we do this against President Felix Tshisekedi? As we continue to fight, it's attracting more of the youth who are tired. We can't do a revolution with guns. This is why we are using songs. People have been marching on the streets of the capital, Kinshasa. Church leaders, rights groups and opposition politicians called for the demonstrations. They say President Tshisekedi is trying to take control of the Electoral Commission ahead of elections due in two years. They were also protesting against a new tax on mobile phone users. Everyone who owns a phone pays at least a few dollars every month, deducted from their credit. It's barely affordable for many of Congo's 40 million phone users. The mobile phone tax is just one of a number of ways that many people feel public money is being misused or stolen. And that adds to a general sense, especially among many young people, that many things haven't really changed since Felix Tshisekedi came to power three years ago. Congo's vast mineral wealth doesn't benefit many of its people. Most workers struggle in informal jobs for low wages. Something that the band Musique Populaire de Revolution sang about in one of the other band songs. Within days of its release, it was viewed more than a million times on YouTube. The Justice Minister later overturned its ban, following criticism from rights groups. The government says it's in the process of changing the ways of the past regimes. We don't ban, it's not part of our strategy. It was a mistake, I told you clearly, and the Justice Minister make a statement on that. It won't be done like that anymore because we are making a reform on the, about that commission. Bob Elvis says he's waiting for the promised reforms, but says the government hasn't fulfilled its past promises. That's what he keeps singing about, and that's why he says his songs are still banned. Malcolm Webb, Al Jazeera, Kinshasa, Democratic Republic of Congo.